The center has set an ambitious target of achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2070 and has taken various measures to meet this goal. One significant but challenging measure is the Ethanol Blended Petrol Program, which aims to blend ethanol with petrol to reduce carbon emissions. Ethanol Blended Petrol allows the engine to completely combust the fuel. This decreases emissions and reduces environmental pollution. However, there are several reasons why this practice is challenging. And in this video, we'll explain why. How is ethanol produced? Ethanol is made by fermenting sugars from crops like sugarcane, grains or other feedstocks. However, in India, majority of sugar for ethanol production comes from sugarcane. But this raises the conundrum of a food-fuel conflict. How? Because the same crops used for ethanol are also essential for food production. Sugar is also a common household staple but a large portion of sugar is diverted for ethanol production. This raises an alarm of an imbalance in demand and supply of sugar for domestic consumption. Therefore, due to concerns about a potential decrease in sugar production, the government had initially banned the production of ethanol from sugar back in December 2023. But later, after reassessing the ethanol requirements for the ethanol blending program, the government upturned its decision and lifted this ban. Overstepping limits. India is permitted to divert up to 17 lakh metric tons of sugar for ethanol production. But the actual diversion in sugar year 2023 was 38 lakh tons. Clearly, this is above the permitted limit. India's target is to achieve 20% ethanol blending by 2025, but at what cost? Sugar production is expected to be lower this year due to lower cane yields and uneven rainfall in key sugar producing states like Maharashtra and Karnataka. The forecast for this year's production is 320 lakh tons, 13% lower than 366 lakh tons produced in sugar year 2023. However, India has managed to achieve 12% ethanol blending with 366 lakh tons last year. But how do we achieve 20% ethanol blending with lesser supply of sugar this year? If more sugar is diverted for ethanol, then prices in the domestic market will increase. This in turn could hurt the pockets of the middle class. What adds a cherry on top is this data by Statista, which shows that the consumption of sugar is increasing in India. Therefore, it is yet to be found if the center's restriction on sugar export and the 17 lakh ton cap on sugar diversion will help insulate the middle class. Let us know if you'd like more such explainers and stay tuned to NDTV Profit for more.